Well, no, you is still alive, then. Dead. Meh. You're either alive or you're dead. You can't be uh, both. He was We're dead, with came back to life, and then died again. That's not how that works. Yeah, it is. No. Nope, Medically, you can be dead for, like, up to ten minutes before you start suffering yeah, brain then, damage. Then that just means that and all we, we have already to do had brain damage, so it's not like anything would have changed. Okay, that's fair. Also, all we have to do is we have to go in... We have to make ourselves die for a minute, come back, and then there will never be a body discovery announcement for us ever again. Yes. Because <laughs> Monica will Am classify us as a zombie for the rest of the game. <laughs> um, okay. So, my predictions for this investigation. Yes. Um, Sakura locked herself in this room to keep herself safe and to stop her from hurting anyone. And was going to drink protein shake and died because of the poison in the protein shake. I'm assuming that the protein shake's poison was not put in there by her, that it wasn't a suicide, I'm hoping at least. But, you know, that is a possibility, just due to the weird smile on her face. But, like, you know, I don't know why she would do that exactly. Um, that means that it had been somebody who knew the protein powder and poison were there and were trying to kill both Asa and Sakura. Because I don't think they put it directly in her cup. They probably Why did you just call Vina Asa? It's a very good question. <laughs> you good, Moving bro. on. Let's not... I took the beginning of her name, not the end of her name. I don't know. Okay. If it... I'm in my Whatever. pasta. Give me a sec. Keep talking. Give me a prediction tomorrow. Um, so we have a murder weapon... We have how the locked room was set up. Um, the problem is that the blood is over there in the corner, and she just walked over, sat down with a smile on her face. That seems weird to me. Was this I mean, her way of fighting back, making it so she wouldn't kill any one of her friends? The monogamma file says she had a head injury. Right. Why did she have a head injury? Did she smack her head into something? Try to clear her head and then drink? I don't know. Or well, maybe I'm be honest, everyone killed her. All of them did it. One at a time. I, I mean, Makoto can't test. Okay, besides Makoto. We're all... She was Julius we, Caesar and we're all the other Romans. <laughs> get, I mean... Get, get. I mean, Kyoko was with us, so that also could not have happened. Her body was still a little bit warm. We hung out with... Oh, no, actually, no. We were... We were in bed. Never mind. It totally could have happened. Oh. Oh, right. this shit is so good. That's fine. Mm. Okay. <sighs> you gonna intro this one or no? I... Yeah. Um, Dung on Rumpa. Do 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 do. Let's do this. I, I don't actually know what I was used to do for intros for these. Why do I keep doing Undertale and I'm not meaning to do Undertale? Whatever. Um. Wait, you weren't meaning to do Undertale? No. What were you meaning to do? Danganronpa. Okay. I don't know, man. I don't know. You when you break me. down this kind of murder mystery, there are four basic types. The first type is the lot dream is created after the actual crime is committed. That simply means that the killer commits his crime and then through some special method seals the room. This mainly involves some sort of trick involving the locking of the room. Basic approaches include using a string or simple mechanism. There are a number of variations. So that all we'd have to do is check the door to see if that's what it was, Correct. right? The second type is when the lock room already exists before the crime is committed. In oh. other words, basically the killer uses a special contraption or tool from outside the room to target the victim inside. You push a switch and it fires a handgun. You shoot an arrow through a gap in the door, something like that. However... But in this case, that doesn't seem to fit. There are no guns or arrows in the school, and the door doesn't have a gap that would allow it. Yeah, I think we can probably cross that one off the list. Huh. Okay, yeah, sure. It's true. The third type is when the killer stays in the room until it's opened up. What do you mean by in that? Other words. They stay hidden. When the door is opened, they use the confusion to blend in with the group. 
They pretend they showed up along with everyone else, and that's that. Sounds like it could have been possible, maybe. And the fourth and final type is when it wasn't actually a locked room at all. <clears throat> Case closed. I have Not no idea room. what you're talking about. By that, I mean there was actually an alternate escape route somewhere within the room. Uh, case closed, also known as Detective Conan. Yeah, I know. Uh, the, f but... the first locked room murder that he runs into was actually not a locked room murder. Uh, it, you thought it was a locked room murder because it was taped closed, but really the tape wasn't even sealed. You just saw it on a window and thought it was, it, it was a really dumb assumption that everyone made just based on a optical illusion. Dude, spoilers. You see I mean, this a lot in novels and things, but in reality, it's generally not possible. It's like 20 years ago, Cassie. <laughs> and you think you can cross that one off too? I believe so, yes. So when it comes to locker room mysteries, those are the basics. So there are four possibilities. Then Kyoko, which of these four combination, uh, four choices seems the most likely That's in this true. case? That's a good question. Answering that should be our primary focus during this trial. But right now, I can't really say. I see. The way the killer set up the locked room until I figured out the truth behind Sakura's death is clearly hidden. Hey, Gabe, it's fun little hint mystery. for you. There's a locked room murder in every single Danganronpa game. Good luck. I believe it. I need to concentrate and investigate as much as I can. These games seem to use a lot of cliches and kind of turn them on their head in a way. At least that's what I'm noticing. There may be multiple, but... For soccer, if nothing else. This looks like some kind of wrapper. Ah, that's... Do you recognize it, well... Nina? Well, yeah, I mean, I gave it to her. That's a candy wrapper. Soccer got super upset when she found out that Genocide Jack had attacked me, right? So after we left the nurse's office, I gave it to her. I thought it might help her calm down a bit little. So you gave that candy to Sakura? I found a big box of it in the warehouse, and I really like them. Actually, as soon as we could get into the warehouse, I took the entire box back to my room. I made sure nobody else could get their hands on them. You really like them that much? I mean... But I wanted Sakura to get a chance to try one for herself, that's why I gave it to her. But now, they've lost all their flavor. Hina. Polka dot candy wrapper has been added to the truth bolt section of your handbook. Shreds of glass scattered all around the chair Sakura was sitting in. Glass is all red and there are these are the top and bottom sections of the bottle, right? It must have been originally been a bottle. Um Something else in the ground near the glass. It's a figure. It fits in the palm of my hand. It's a Monokuma figure. Hmm. They weren't playing chess, though. No, they yeah. were playing, um... What? 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 <laughs> what? Excuse me! Wait, what? I was looking at the opposite end of the room and it auto-locked onto this door. Oh. The chair was shoved up against the doorknob so we couldn't get to the door open. There was no evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used on the chair. Gungi. In other words, they were playing no Gungi. Think, think the chair had anything special done to it. I was over here. Yeah. Wild. Okay. How do I, uh... Live there we go. without That's what you. I was thinking too. Also, there's Gabe. a blood stain in front of the magazine shelf. Hmm? What's up? I um sent you something. I just oh, think it's oh. funny. Okay, I'll check that. Okay, apparently the game's auto going. Apparently if you... I, I alt-tabbed and it auto-went, because that makes sense. I know that space is usually the button that switches it to no auto, idea. or off-auto. <sighs> There's one stand in front of the magazine shelf, might have come from soccer, but that doesn't make sense. Why is it so far from where she died? Magazine shelf, bloodstain. 
Yeah, the truth blood is just you wondering why the blood stain is over here. Persona 5 loyal, huh? I approve of that. Okay. Sorry, I was being added in something. Apparently I'm actually being talked well about, so that's weird. I don't know how to feel about that. Yeah, I don't know. An open locker. Does it have a fake back? The locker's open there on the inside. It's a handprint. Why? It's a handprint. Dude, no, that's yours. Sorry. What's a handprint doing here? It looks like someone touched the inside of the locker and it left a handprint that's in true. dust. It looks quite fresh, too. I'd say someone was hiding here in the locker and they left behind a little something extra. So then... Maybe the killer hidden here until the locked room was open, don't you think? And during all the confusion, they popped out and joined the rest well, of the group. Unfortunately, that's not a possibility. Oh, well, why not? Think back before we opened the door. We looked inside the room, right? Oh yeah, and the locker was already open at that point. Indeed. So there's no way someone could have hidden in there until after we opened the door. Yeah, so then what does the handprint mean? Have you tried pushing on the back, maybe? Oh, to see if it's like a secret exit? Yeah, I mean, that would make sense. Oh, hey, look, it's one of these bottles where the figurine came from. That's weird. There are four red bottles lined up on the shelf. Inside each bottle, there's some kind of Monokuma figure. So the knight was used to smack her over the head with. That's... Wait. Pawn, Rook, Bishop... Oh, we're missing. Is that the king or the queen? It looks like the queen. So, we're missing the queen. If we can find the queen, we might be able to do something with it. Inside each bottle, there's some kind of monokuma figure, and what I'm wondering is how did they find those figures inside the bottles? So... It's no different from your standard ship in a bottle. Huh? You know, where the bottle's opening is smaller than the boat placed inside. You've never seen that. Oh yeah, maybe I have. So this is a Monokuma version of that. A Monokuma bottle, if you will. But normally you put the ship together piece by piece. This looks like a figurine. I'm not sure if this makes sense. I feel like I'm finally starting to make sense of things, little by little. The Monokuma bottle sitting on the shelf. The Monokuma figure we found on the ground. The red shards of glass, which probably start out as a bottle. Which would mean Sakura must have been hit in the head with a Monokuma bottle, right? Shards of glass and the Monokuma figure are evidence of that. So I think it's safe to say the Monokuma bottle was the weapon. Incorrect, but you know, go off, I guess. Well, I mean, again, she did have a head wound, so... Yeah, but that's not the killer move. It's around 1 o'clock right now, according to the Monokuma file, Sakura died around 12 noon, so roughly an hour ago. Is that when Kyoko and I were moving Alter Ego? Okay, so I can check the magazine rack itself, apparently. That's the same shelf full of magazines. There's all kinds of different magazines here. Okay, I'm trying to avoid looking at the body itself, so I'll look at everything else first. There's some kind of plastic container rolling around near the entrance of the room. So... Hmm. Oops. It looks like a protein drink, and it's empty. Sakura must have drank it. Everyone knows how much she loved her protein. And she mentioned more than once how protein was good for all sorts of ailments. Yeah. I wouldn't take that to heart if I were you. I know. But still, this protein can. It's got a label on it that says Chem A2. That reminds me, Sakura mentioned how the Chem Lab had all sorts of this health stuff. So she must have gotten this from Just the Chem Lab. But that's strange. Oh, huh? what is... You see what's scattered around the can? Sure, it's the light blue glass. This must have been part of the window I brought to you Correct. inside. But aren't they just... They just, they aren't just scattered around the can. They're also underneath it. Why does so, that matter? I can't say for sure yet, but you're probably going to want to take note of it. I feel like it'll become an important clue later on. I mean, we... We made note that it was rolling around. Important clue, I'm not sure I see how. Empty protein drink. Really, I don't know. Um, 
Okay. Well, I guess we finally come to the main event. One of the, the many entree, two-dimensional characters. You may do not. Say. Um, we nom, do nom, not nom, talk nom. about dead bodies like Andres. Sakura drew her last breath, sitting slumped forward in his chair. There's obvious evidence the blood her head Sakura suffered. Normally I wouldn't have any problem believing that's what killed her, but according to Monokumbal, she also vomited blood. And I can see a trace of blood from her lips, that's for sure. So what would have caused her to vomit blood? A head injury that made you, you know, have a seizure? That would absolutely do that kind of thing. You could have bit your own tongue, for all you know. Mm -hmm. Um, though Monokumbal specifically said she hadn't suffered any other injuries. Maybe getting her hit on the head someone caused her to start vomiting blood? Not a chance. Biakia. Yeah, yeah. However, your eyes have landed on a most interesting location. Interesting? Yes, most interesting, don't you agree? No, I don't think I'd call it interesting. But it does make me wonder. The reason the software vomited blood absolutely has to be connected to why she died. Alright. Hey, Hina. We already know who did it. <laughs> Half of the people watched. Yakia Toko or Hiro, it had to be one of them. They couldn't stand the sight of her. Good been me. Don't judge me. You agree with me, don't you, Makoto? Um, well, I don't know what... I don't want to say anything for sure without finding out more. Then let me help you find out more. You see, Sakura asked all three of them to meet with her. You know where? Right here in the rec room. What? After, After I went, went to, to the, the nurse's nurse. office this morning, Sakura and I both left together, right? Well, eventually she went off on her own. But when I saw her again after that, she told me. She said she left a note for each of them. She asked them to meet her in the rec room by noon. By noon, the Monokuma file said she died right around then. I'm telling you the truth. I heard it right from Sakura herself. And I tried to stop her, but she wouldn't listen. She said not to worry, that she wanted to talk, just wanted to talk to them. And this is what happened. If I'd stopped her by force even, this never would have happened. Hina, it's impossible not to have regrets, I know. I always account. The fact that she had asked for those three to meet with her. And she asked them to come to the rec room at noon, the same time and place she ended up dying. Might be good to confirm what I just heard with the three of them directly. However, but for Sakura to have been killed. Yeah, she's not the type who would go down without a fight. True. And she certainly didn't, I would say. She was the ultimate martial artist, strong in body, mind, and spirit. So how was the killer able to get the upper hand on her? I wonder, did someone get the upper hand? They must have taken her by surprise, right? Certainly. Certainly, they would have needed to if they expected to stand any chance against her. What? What do you want? You're bothering me. Um, there's something I'd like to ask you about. Make it quick. Is it true that Sakura asked you to meet her here in the rec room? So you found out. Interesting. Then it's true? <laughs> I did receive a note to that effect, yes. But what fool would do what it said and risk being killed by that monster? So you didn't go see her? Of course not. I ripped that note to shreds and threw it away. I haven't seen Sakura today at all. Biaka says he didn't go see her. Is that the truth? Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as fact. If you're all finished, please remove yourself from my sight. Okay, thanks. Okay, so we're gonna hope that that's true so we're not playing Phoenix right. And we're gonna leave the room. This door is the only way in and out of the rec room. The door doesn't have a lock and there's no evidence that the mounting has been tampered with. The only notable change is that the smashed window. Which happened, of course, when I broke it to get inside. There's no evidence that any kind of strings or mechanism was used on the door. In other words, I don't see anything suspicious about the door itself. Mm. Having examined both the door and the chair, there's no doubt the reason the door didn't open was simply because the chair was shoved up against it. This kept the door knob from turning and the door from opening. And there was no evidence of the door or chair being tampered with or anything like that. 
because the killer must have created the locked room from the inside, not from me. Okay. Listen. Well, Makoto, have you finished with your general investigation? So then. Oh, then you should probably okay. go talk with people now. I'm on guard duty, so I can't leave. Sorry. Um, yeah, I think so for the most part. My controller's being an asshole. Listen to me. Which is why I've decided you'll go in my place. She's decided. She's got a lot more pushy since we had our issue. But she's right. I do have to go talk to the others. Soraka wanted to meet with two other people. I need to hear what they have to say. The shore is here. Yeah, okay. I think you may just want to hit R. Just hit R. Or, you know. B. Yeah. Controller noob. I'm sorry, but it makes less noise on the recording. These other two probably went back to their rooms. What are you doing? Walking slowly because it seemed dramatic. Okay. Hey, look at all these people that are dead! Doko better not be dead. That'd be very concerning. Ding dong. And after a few seconds. So we're reusing this animation, huh? Who's there? The most negative aura I've ever felt. An aura of total decay. What do you want? So you're back to normal. Genocide Jack isn't around anymore. Why do they just like it'd be one if they just said Genocide Jill all the time, but they swap yeah, between them. I don't know, man. Any voice acted bit is always Genocide Jack because that's the actual name, and then all the text is Genocide Jill. Don't even say her name. It makes me sick to my stomach. I was in such a good mood, too. She didn't look like she was in a hey, good mood. I was hoping to talk to you about something. Is now a bad time? <laughs> Obviously, no way. Toko slithered out into the hall. What do you want? You said you wanted to talk to me about something. I wanted to talk about the fact that Sakura had asked me. <laughs> well, well. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. The Akari told me she'd asked to meet with him. What? She wanted to meet with Mac or Q? <laughs> I guess that was totally obvious, huh? Yeah, pretty much. So can you tell me about it? <laughs> I admit I did get the note, but I didn't go see her. I was scared, so I couldn't bring myself to go. Don't claim she didn't go see her, but can I really believe her? Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept this fact. Is that good enough? Then I'm going back to my room. With that, Toko quickly retreated into her room. Toko's account has been added so to the truthful section of your handbook. So I'm a little confused. Because I swear what? there's one more clue in the rec room that we didn't get, but the game let you move on anyway? Well, I couldn't investigate anything else. I had to so investigate maybe... every item. Yeah, I know. It was something then. that you did investigate that you were supposed to get a clue about, but I guess maybe it might be later. I pressed the doorbell. Ding dong, ding dong. And after a few seconds... What's up, Makoto? Did you need something? Yeah, actually, I just want to check something. It's about how Sakura wanted to meet with you. How do you know about that? Did you maybe gaze into my soul? Have you even have your special abilities wakened in you? But I'm not the only one she has to meet with. Ogre told me that she herself, that she had asked Byaki and Toko to come too. What? When did Sakura tell you that? Huh? Well... When she asked me to meet with her, of course. Yeah, bullshit. You met with her. But she didn't write you a note? Uh, yeah, a note. She, uh... She gave it to me in person. She happened to mention it to the others, like, in passing. I gotta be honest, this is super suspicious. So then you went and met with Sakura. No way! I totally didn't! Why would I ever do that? Yeah, definitely suspicious. The last time I saw her was when Hina got hurt and I took her to the nurse's office. I haven't seen her since then. Man, hero, well, don't ever just commit said, a crime, because your you, lies will 
be you'll get committed you literally just said that you'd met with her while well, I'm here could you show me the note she gave you um, oh um do I still have it let's see he was feeling around his pockets I'm uh, sorry it looks like I don't have it anymore the big goofy smile on his face he pulled his hands back out of his pockets and when he did I saw something flutter to the ground something had fallen out of Kira's pocket huh so we know that he did meet with her, just based on the seventh one. Uh. Uh. Quick as the wind, Hero snapped it back up again, and shoved it back into his pocket. Hey, come on. <laughs> Sorry, a bit of trash I forgot to throw out. Trash? What? Anyway, I can't deny Ogre asked to meet with her, but I never went. So well, if you'll excuse me. Before waiting for a reply, Hero quickly slipped back into his room. Hero said that it was just trash, but there's no way that's all there was to it. Pocket trash is man to the truth. Pocket trash! <laughs> I thought the same thing. <laughs> okay, so I've heard from Jocko and Hero. Um, what next? I'll definitely have to look at the actual crime scene again, but on top of that, maybe I should find out more about the protein can we found though for the rec room. I'm sure it can come in handy from the chem lab. It, it came from the chem handy? lab. Whatever, you know what I meant. So where should I start? I would suggest the chem lab first. And I then go back to figured. the rec room. Um, fourth floor. Well, hey, oh, game, at least druggies. after this we get another floor. Don't. <laughs> Don't do that. <sighs> Makoto, did you have your eye on the chem lab, too? Just make sure you don't get in my way. Yeah, I got it. I think you meant to say, yes, sir, I understand. What I meant to say was shove poison up your ass, you pretentious cunt. <clears throat> Alright, let's uh, investigate. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. Being scared of it won't do any good. Better off just ignoring it completely. Haha, <laughs> coin. Ah, oh, damn it. Wait, I got three coins for that? Did you? I don't know. I had 69 five seconds ago I before I walked in this room. Yeah, that was the joke. That's why I went down to 69 before this recording started. I just went up three coins by checking this one item. <laughs> That's weird. Okay. Whoa, I wonder what I need to check in this room. What? This is my first time seeing the shelf, but I just can't get over how big it is. I should probably take a closer look at it. Yeah, it's the whole thing. It area. looks like there's shelves that are connected together to make one giant shelf. More importantly right now, what's this powder that's spilled in front of this shelf? I have to carefully not step on it. It's poison, I think. Yeah, I meant more of this. The footsteps, yes. They're footprints, and they're only from the left hmm. shelf. How do the footprints relate to the scene as a whole? We may need to sketch out the floor plan. By we, hmm. do you mean me? What kind, how kind of you to offer? What an insufferable smirk. He handed me a piece of paper and a pen. Well, let's go chop chop. Okay. So I get to work and before long I drawn up a sketch of the room. So um, how's this? Not bad for you, I mean. For me. So when you look at it like this, interesting. It would appear that whoever left these footprints only had business in the leftmost shelf. They came in, went straight to that shelf, did whatever they had to do, and then left. That's what the footprints tell me. I see. These footprints must be... Possible. Makoto, are they yours? No! Okay, then won't we see your shoes and confirm their size for myself? I couldn't think of a reason not to, so I quietly let Biakias did what Biakias said. See, your feet, feet do appear to be too big. That's not what I wanted to hear. Why? Because, um, I don't know about Biakia. But Hero is six foot four, his feet are probably larger than the nineties. So that leaves only three people. Because it definitely wasn't Sakura's footprints because her feet were too big as well. We've seen her feet. Also I'm pretty sure she was barefoot, she didn't wear shoes. She wasn't I'm barefoot, not sure. she wore shoes. She did? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure we saw her feet though, during the Nope. Whatever. She wears the um Japanese school shoes. Like, in anime, those shoes that Japanese school kids wear. 
Oh, okay. That's what she. For wears. some reason, I for some reason I thought her, I saw her bare feet in one of the scenes. Not as much as your little heart desires. You didn't. Oh yeah, I am having such a foot fetishist. You have no idea. I know, right? Um, well, you might have in the shower scene, but that's the only time you would have. Okay, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Um, that means there's only a few people it could be. Asa, Kyoko, Topo. Stop saying Asa. I said Asa. <laughs> Stop. Oh, I'm glad we both realized at the same time. Unfortunately, I must admit these are not your footprints. Unfortunately. But with how clear these foot these prints are, it should be quite easy to determine who they do belong to. Then these prints are really a valuable clue. Yeah, that only leaves a few people. There's a broken bottle in front of the shelf. Is this where powder came from? It looks like the bottle had a label on it. Chem C4. Hmm. Would you like to hear something interesting? I was on the fourth floor this morning, checking things out, and at this point, this room wasn't like this. Then this powder must have been spilled. Words. That's right, it could only have been around the time of the incident. If that really is when it happened, it must have been related to the case somehow. Source of the power. Makoto. Okay. Shelf A. There are all kinds of dietary supplements and different medicines. The protein powder, the protein drink we found in the probably came from the shelf. All the containers on the shelf are labeled with the letter A and a number. So I guess we can consider this part of the shelves unit, section A. Huh? But wait. There's one ball here that's labeled Chem C9. Could someone have put it here on accident? The reagents. Put simply, they're using experiments to bring about chemical reacting. Reagent? I don't remember how to pronounce that. So reagent. how... Reagent. Okay, thank you. Uh, how have you lived in such ignorance for so long? It must truly be bliss. Isn't that kind of harsh? What, you think studying science and mathematics is no practical application in the real world? The world of a lifelong loser, which I suppose suits you well. The words, no word. I didn't even say that. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Right now, I need to focus on the shelf. All the containers on the shelf are labeled the letter B and a number. So I guess I consider this part of the shelf unit section B. It, it has a label on the front. I don't see some anything out of the ordinary here, in which case, I don't think I have to worry about the shelf. So, yeah. On the shelf is one look, and I can tell it's nothing but dangerous chemicals, like Chem C9. These look like poison from other powerful chemicals, and all these containers on the shelf are labeled with the letter C and a number. So I guess I consider this part of the shelf unit section C. I should probably find out more about the shelving unit. It looks like it's split into three sections. Section A has dietary, section B has reagents, section B has lethal chemicals. Sakura must have gotten the protein powder from section A, but what concerns me is that section A, there was a bottle with a label for section C. What was the bottle of poison from section C doing with section A? There's definitely something going on there. I can't back up. Is it a shard the glass, maybe? Hmm. So in okay, so it is right here then. Got it. There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor. I better not leave a footprint. Oh my Should god. Should probably take a good hard look at the powder. <coughs> There's a bunch of yellow footprints. The yellow powder scattered on the floor from the shelf. There's also the remains of a broken bottle. It looks like the bottle is a little Chem C4. And it looks like someone left footprints in the powder. Just so you know, Based Gabe, on this is prints. very random, what? but apparently Sakura's English voice actress is married to Leon's voice actor. I don't like that post. Based on the position of the prince, whoever it was went, only went to the left <laughs> side of the shelf. Just ignore me. <laughs> okay. I ignored that entire thought. According to Biakia, and by thought I mean Leon, uh, the powder would have to have been spilled right around the time of the incident. That's all I can tell for now. The prince and the powder have been... I already got the footprints, what? I've already taken a good look at the chem lab. Maybe I should take a look around the rec room. Hey, Bianca, bitch. Makoto, I admit you have a good eye for spotting useful clues. But you also need to learn how to make use of those clues. Well, that's probably the first compliment he's given me that wasn't backhanded. Uh, 
second? No, third. There we go. Right, because this is what... yeah. Hey. So, Makaito, how's your investigation going? I told Kyoko and to what Toko and Hiro told me. I see. So, along with Byakuya, they're both claiming they didn't go see her. But it's all too convenient. Someone must be lying. No Someone's one. lying. Well, I've made some progress of my own. Sakura's body, the shelf of magazines, and the Monokuma bottles. These three things have revealed new clues. You'd do well to look over them one more time. So I guess here's where we find out the one. Done. Here, because the magazine shelf was hiding a clue of some kind. Hmm, cool clue. A clue, a clue! And the magazine is upside down. Yeah, that was the one oh. that I was talking about. The koto. Someone put it back that way on accident? Yeah, <sighs> sorry. Um, if someone, if something catches your eye, it's important for you to explore that in detail, don't you think? Yeah, you're right. I picked up the inverted magazine and flipped through it. Toko, this is one of the pages near the center of the magazine where it had been written in blood and bold bloody letters. And it said Toko. Could this be a dying message? That would... then it would appear you found it. Kyoko, so... is this... It is indeed a dying message. Someone used their finger to write it. A dying message. Just to be clear, I'm not the one who put it back upside down. It was already like that when I found it a little while ago. I made sure to put it back exactly as I found it for the benefit of others who might come looking. Um... Hey, is that... That says Toko, right? Yeah, it looks yeah. like it. Then she's a killer, right? Well, it hasn't been confirmed yet. Forgive you. It's settled. She's the killer for sure. That's conclusive evidence, right? We can use it to corner the killer. I can see why you would think that, but it just seems too easy. If anything, it makes me that much more suspicious. Yeah, um, there's a really easy way to tell if it's her or not. Does she have blood on her hand? So, Monokuma bottle next. I think Kyoko said she found a queen in the Monokuma bottle, such as the fact that the queen is missing? Something new, something new. Hmm. Something borrowed hey. and something blue. So, did you figure it out? There's a hidden correlation between all the bottles. Pay attention. Pay careful attention, and you're sure to find it. Correlation. Um, hey, Kyoko, can't you just tell so, me what it is? I don't mind guiding you towards clues, but giving you my conclusion isn't a good idea. Each person needs to come to their own conclusion so that everyone can have confidence in the outcome. And it's not just because you don't trust me, right? No answer? Oof. Uh, I do trust you. To a degree. Otherwise, I wouldn't have told you anything to begin with. Only to a degree? Hey. I mean... Actually, there's one other thing about the Monokuma bottles that's bothering me. I'd like to do an experiment to confirm it. You don't mind helping me, right? Grabs and smacks you over the head. An she experiment? you right now. Can you gather up all the pieces of the broken Monokuma bottle? We'll try to get the smaller pieces too. Are you sure it's okay to mess with the crime that scene like that? Matter. I've already done a thorough investigation, so it's fine. And that obnoxious Byaki is not here either. Stupid cunt. So then. Okay. Anyway, I need to get something from the chem lab. While I'm gone, try to gather up all the glass. 
that Kyoko left the room. Ain't she supposed to be a bodyguard? I mean, we're here. Okay. And everyone kind of assumes that we're not a killer. I guess. Everyone just kind of assumes that we're innocent in cases at this point until we fuck up and then everyone just points the finger at us because, you know, why wouldn't they blame the guy who's probably never going to commit a murder? What choice do I have? I'd better just do it. I took the broom and dustpan and got to work collecting all the broken bottle pieces. And just as I decided to finish it up... Sorry to keep you waiting. So then, is everything ready? Then let's get to work. So what kind of experiment are we In doing? In other words, I got a scale from the chem lab. We're going to use it to compare weights. Compare the weights of what? The pieces of glass you collected in one of the Monokuma bottles are still intact. What do you, why do you want to do that? That's the point of the experiment. It'll make sense when we're done. Come on, Nagi. You're smarter than this. Listen. First, let's compare the weight of two normal Monokuba bottles. It's balanced. It's balanced. In other words. Oh, shit. Which means each Monokuma bottle weighs about the same. Which makes sense. The Monokuma figures inside are basically the same, and nothing else can really affect the weight. I mean, they aren't, but, so you know, then. go off. Now, here comes the important part. Put all the pieces you picked up on one side of the scale. Now what might we expect to see? Well, a normal assumption would be either they'll balance out or the pieces I collected will be lighter. I did my best to get them all, but there's a chance I could have missed some here and there. Um, until they are actually heavier. So then. Okay, okay the then let's give it a try. Huh? Broken pieces are heavier? I mean, they're in a bag for some reason, but because we had to put them affect. in a bag to hold them all. They're. I mean, no, pieces. you, you literally could have just set them on the scale. It's a scale. How is that possible? I knew it. Just as I thought. In other words. What? The result of our experiment and the correlation between each of the bottles put it all together. Hey. And I believe you will arrive at one very persuasive conclusion. So, what do you think? It's all on you. Monokuma bottle experiments added to the truth billet section of your handbook. <sighs> Finally. Sakura. According to Kyoka, there's still something to be discovered from Sakura's thing. body. Just staring off into space isn't going to help you figure out anything, anything out. Mother. Well, yeah, I know, but... But don't you think you might need to actually examine the body? Whew. There's no getting around it. Unlike me, Kyoko didn't recoil at the thought of touching a dead body. She was completely unemotional. It's the kind of thing I've known perversely... I've grown perversely used to. Although, there are still some times. I can't believe how calm you are. No matter how many times I see a dead body, I can't get used to it. That's totally normal. Then how can so, you? I imagine it's because I've had plenty of opportunities to touch dead bodies in the past. What? What I'm saying, Anagi, is I am a necrophiliac. Uh, sorry, never mind. Hey. More importantly, look here. Her oh. shoes? You see that yellow powder on her insep? Insep. Yeah, it really stands out. That powder is clue number one. The old powder has been added to the truth bullet section of hey. your handbook. Next is the wound to her head. Look carefully. It's true. Actually, even telling you that is incredibly difficult to spot, so let me just explain. A lack of blood because it was post-mortem? It would appear that she didn't suffer a single blow. Okay, there's two bumps, got it. But instead, receive two blows to the head. Two Indeed. blows? Interesting, wouldn't you say? And there's one more interesting thing. Correct. Both of her hands were spotless. There's absolutely no trace of blood on either one. It's true. So that's what I learned from examining her body in detail. This is why having a coroner... Coroner? <laughs> coroner is important. 
can't believe she was able to wear that, all that just by looking at her body. I don't think anyone but Kyoko could have pulled that off. Dong, bing, bong. Bing, bong, ding, A body has been discovered, Donnie! <laughs> None the door. You caught me sleeping! Your investigation was just so boring, I couldn't stay awake! Should I do it? Bro, it shut okay? the fuck up. Can I? Can I? Can I? No. Can I? No. 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 Okay, then let's begin the class trial! You know where to meet, right? Please go through the red nope. door on the Could you tell me again? floor of the school. <laughs> mm, what if I want to go to the nurse's office? Hello, nurse. There are time, but the mystery of the locked room is only still half solved. At this point, whatever happens will have to happen at the class trial. No, not whatever happens. I have to make something happen. All right. Guys, next time on Let's Play Danganronpa, the class trial. A trial of hope or a trial of despair. I don't remember all of Nagi's constant ramblings, but something along those lines. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.